Hey, what's going on guys? Ace here. And before I start this, I just want to let you guys know that I am sick. I feel like absolute shit. But, you know, I wanted to talk about this new thing that came out maybe just a few days ago. Um, but first, um... Shit. Y'all remember these things? Little Amiibos? Skylanders? Disney Infinity? Um, that big craze that hit the fucking gaming industry, like... God, how long ago was that? Like, Super Smash Bros. No, it was even before then. Skylanders came out first, and they sold a bunch of stuff. They put Spyro's name on it to get more people, like, I guess, older generation of people. But they sold... Th those toys and that game sold pretty dang well. And then uh, Disney jumped in on the action with Disney Infinity. The Amiibos came out for Smash Brothers, And then more games started incorporating Amiibos into their uh, stuff. Um, then there were LEGO Dimensions. Now, I actually did a whole separate video on Amiibos, and if they were worth purchasing, you can actually find it in the card below. Um, but I'm not going to go too deep into detail. I actually don't have a lot of the Amiibos that are list or shown in that video. I got rid of them, mostly because I needed the space for more stuff. Now, for those of you who are still questioning what I'm going to be talking about, um, PlayStation um, Sony is actually announced their own line of figures. They're not interactive figures, they're not like Toys to Life or anything because they don't have an NFC chip in them, but they're called Totaku. All right, Totaku? Tacos! Dude, I want fucking tacos right now. From what I understand, they're actually the same size as an Amiibo, but they're based on Sony's line of PlayStation All-Stars, if you will. There's Crash Bandicoot, Pot Rapper the Rapper, Sackboy, a Bloodborne Hunter, uh, Kratos, Heihachi, and a ship from Wipeout? Whatever, that's that's an odd choice to me. Now these things aren't, as I said, they're not interactive figures, they don't have an NFC chip on the base. I think it's really cool that the base looks like a, uh, a D-pad, that's kind of cool. And they have their own little plot-like designs on them, kind of similar to how the Smash Bros and Sploon and all that other good stuff has their own designs on the bottom. So they're just collectibles they're meant to sit on the shelf they're meant to sit in the packaging or out of the packaging like if you're like me and like to destroy things um they're just there for show now i find it funny because skylanders actually released a crash bandicoot um skylander with dr um neo cortex so just kind of looking at this looking that it's more correctly on model is kind of funny to me i don't really have too much to say about these to be honest i just kind of wanted to say how 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 interesting this is but I feel like they're a little late to the game but they're a nice addition to those collectors like say say me like I'm a hardcore collector I love collecting statues I love collecting video game memorabilia um, I don't have all the money in the world to buy those six foot tall statues I'm sorry that those are that be fucking massive those like foot two foot and a half or two and a half foot tall statues that cost like five hundred dollars a piece i don't have the money to do that so these are actually a nice little compromise i i think it's a good idea for those of us for those of like like kids and people who just don't really have the room or the money to buy those huge figures to buy these and they're like, oh, you like Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, I like Crash Bandicoot. Let's talk about Crash Bandicoot. What's in my <laughs> By the way, I love Crash. This shirt by um, Kevin Farragan, I believe his name is. Fucking tight. Now, in terms of build quality, they're okay looking. Um, the Hunter and Heihachi look actually pretty good for how small these things are supposed to be. I, I say the same thing about Bayonetta and Cloud. I got both of those up there. Um, and Ryu, Ryu over there too. Uh, I, I expected them to look okay. Um, they look better than a couple of them here. Sackboy looks pretty cool. Crash looks decent. I like how they used his little turn pose. It's kind of kind of cool. But his his bigger pupil and his tinier pupil kind of freaked me out a little bit. The one that from the videos that I have seen and people talk about him, uh, Paul Rapper, the rapper, um, he it, it does base on how his game is styled. You know, all of the characters are flat, 2D, 3D models. Like they're supposed to be represented as flat. Um, I'm not sure. I, I like that they kept it looking like he does in game, but at the same time, I don't know. It's a little iffy. I, I actually was talking to a, a, co a co-worker of mine who I was telling him about these, 
And uh, he said, well, you know, Game & Watch was the same way. It's like, the, the big gimmick with Game & Watch for his Amiibo is he had, like, three separate body pieces that you could interchange, and that is pretty cool. But I'm also not a big fan of Power Rapper the Rapper. I know. I said it. I don't know. I just think these are kind of neat little trinkets that people who like PlayStation characters can collect. Uh, I think the biggest problem with this is they are quite late on the game. They're not probably not going to sell as well as like some of the Amiibos did or the Skylanders, Lego Dimensions. They're probably not going to sell that well, to be honest. And as far as I know, they're only going to be sold at GameStop because I, I believe Sony loaned ThinkGeek the rights to make toys for these. I think the other problem is that the Sony, while they do have a lot of flagship characters like Crash, Spyro, um, Sly Cooper, um, all those different characters, Jack and Dexter, Ratchet and Clank, um, they don't have as many iconic characters as Nintendo does. Because Nintendo, you say Nintendo, and everybody's like, oh yeah, Mario, Zelda, Link, G Ganondorf, Bowser, and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to list off at least five, six characters right away without having to think. I don't know, I think they'll sell okay, seeing as how, you know, there's a lot of gamers and there's more people who are aware of who these characters are, and maybe they're trying out their games for the first time, um, but... Me, personally, I will get a couple of them. I'm not too big on Heihachi as much as I like Tekken. I'm not a big Tekken fan. Um, I think that out of this first wave, and this is the only first wave that has been announced, I might get the Hunter because I just love Bloodborne and Crash Bandicoot is my shit. I think it's a neat idea that Sony is doing this. I, I'm surprised it actually took them that long. I'm also very happy that these are just collectibles and they don't actually do anything in-game. Which, you know, that's awesome. I don't have to worry about Bloodborne hiding something that I that nobody else can get without this toy. And that's really all that I have to say about this. Um, I'm sorry that it's not as an in-depth look at these. I think they look cool. I think they'll sell well. Um, but this is just the first wave. We have to see how many more are going to come out. Um, what do you guys think of Totaku and what their first wave looks like? Uh, me, personally, I like a couple of them, as I said, and some of them are a little weird. Um, and what characters are you excited to see them released if you are looking forward to seeing these released? Uh, me, personally, I would love to see a Sly and a Jack and Daxter one. Let's not forget an infamous line. I think that one would be pretty cool. And that's where I'm going to leave off today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me and stay updated on what I do for the channel, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to subscribe for more, then why don't you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for when I upload, when I stream, all that good stuff. And with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to live strong, game on, and take care. See you guys.